you know, the results are showing that it's all pretty good, but we've still got so much race to go. We've done a lot of miles, not too many points. I think the Team New Zealand is a very big team, very well organized. They are very consistent in all of our world. There is a big support behind them. For sure, they, they did uh, very few mistakes uh, during, the, in, uh, the, during the sailing. It's a good example for, uh, for all the teams to, to see the, the work of uh, Team New Zealand. It's very hard to, to pass them. Uh, hopefully, sometimes we have a boat faster <laughs> so we can pass them. <laughs> Otherwise, they, the, the, the team New Zealand crew they, do a very good job. It's uh, very impressive to, to fight uh, uh, close to them. Uh, we, we learn a lot. The, the battles are enjoyable, aren't they? Like, <laughs> scared for scared. Yeah. <laughs> you know, quite often you know before you, well, you know before the scared comes in, it's going to be a bad one. You know, and you're sitting down there, you know exactly when it's due in. It's like, you know, I think it's, it's good, good fun, fun to race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a very good game for that. Yeah. I thought early on, you know, for, for the, the, the word I used was some French flair to, to bring to the race. I think that's been right, as in uh, early days in some, you know, the tactical moves were not as mainstream as normal. If someone's going a different direction, you show it respect and try and understand why. The fleet in the past would always kind of like kids chasing a soccer ball around the field. I think it's perhaps changed a little bit of the tactics of some of the other teams now that sometimes you do have to go out, out slightly the field to do well. You know, I think it would take a good team to beat us. If I can beat them? For sure, but he, he can beat me as well. <laughs> This is the race and uh, yeah. it's, uh, nobody uh, can see now who, yeah. uh, who will the yeah. next leg. In the uh, last Volvo, uh, the, the last one uh, uh, became the first one uh, just after the Cape Horn, so it's, <laughs> it's hard to know now. Yeah. There's a certain level of respect with people that um, cross the boundaries and are not afraid to take on new challenges. and. Um, it's a big difference for sure from the single-handed offshore to this and it's been a, quite a remarkable transition. Not afraid, and that's changing, changing boats. Knows how to um, live life. Small, small like me. It's the only, only crew <laughs> in, this, in this race with the same... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Same size like this, so it's tall, very good to very have. Tall, <laughs> very tall, very tall. Yeah. No, I think we are very close in terms of uh, spirit, and uh, we are enjoying uh, to go in the ocean to, to fight uh, together, and it's important to, to stay like that. <laughs>